Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a quick Dollar Tree haul for you all. In my Dollar Tree hauls, I'm going to start a new series where I try and keep these hauls five minutes or less. I know that sometimes our hauls can drag on and on and really at the end of the day, you guys just want to see what's new, what's out there so that you can get to your Dollar Trees and scoop some of these items up. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right in so that we don't waste any more time. So the first set of items that I found this week were the adorable animal planters. Now there's four to collect. This one is the llama, I believe, and her name is Uma. There is a hedgehog named Hudson, a turtle named Tilly, and a fox named Flora. So these are so adorable and I was so excited to find them because every time my husband and I go to Home Depot, my daughter always wants to purchase a succulent. So we have all of these succulents and nowhere to put them. So this was really, really cute and they are adorable. We planted two of the succulents and I'm going to show you what they look like. How stinking cute are these? So this is the llama and this one is the fox. And they are so, so cute. And this would make such an awesome gift um, for a dollar for the planter. And I think the succulents are like around $3 at Home Depot or a place like that. So, so cute. So if you find these in your store, definitely scoop them up. Another item that I found this week that I thought was really cool, my daughter loves gummy bears and loves Legos, so this was like the perfect combination. This is the 4D gummy block shapes. How cool is that? So it actually shows you on the back like different animals you can make. You can make a penguin, a crocodile, and a giraffe. That is so cool. So I thought she would have a lot of fun playing with these. You know, she eats a few, she eats a few, but I just thought this was really fun, so I scooped this up for her. Another item that I finally found that people were hauling were the Orbeez um, bee balls, and these things are huge. These are really big. Now, they only came in green and yellow and the purple and pink, so I scooped them up, and I actually opened one up for my daughter, so I'll show you that, but they are a really good size, and I think someone was saying that these retailed at like Walmart for anywhere from like five to eight dollars or something like that. They're only worth a dollar, I mean, <laughs> really. But the kids have a lot of fun with them and um, yeah, they're really, really good quality and they're big. So for a buck, if you come across these and your kids are into these or you need gifts, definitely scoop some up. The next item that I found that I thought was kind of cool and very nostalgic for me was this bubble goo and it's blow giant bubbles. I'm an 80s kid and when I saw this, it brought me back to those tiny little tubes of what was almost like a putty and you would stick it at the end of the straw and blow a bubble and you could redo it over and over again. Well, this is some sort of slime and they give you the straw as well. So I don't know if it comes in other colors, but um, this was the only one I found at my store, but it was very nostalgic and brought me back. So I had to pick it up for my daughter to try out. The next items that I found were these smellies, smelly pencils. And I thought these were so cute. Now I think there's five to collect, but I only found four. And they come packaged in these little plastic wrappers. And I picked up blueberry, pineapple, orange, and watermelon. They are pre-sharpened, but I thought these were really cute because I put together like back to school gifts for my nieces and nephews. And I thought these would be something fun to throw in those later on in the year. The last item that I came across, as you know, in my last haul, I was looking for all four um, of these workbooks. Um, last time I purchased the Ocean Creatures and In the Wild, and this time I did find the Insects and Bugs. Um, I still haven't found the Animal Friends, but I'm on the hunt for it. My daughter did the Ocean Creatures the other night, and she absolutely loved it. Like, it was really, really great. We got to read all these, like, really fun facts. So if you have young kids, um, I would definitely check out some of their sticker books. Some of them are pretty educational um, and definitely keep them busy for a while. And for a buck, you really can't beat it. So that is my haul for this week. Um, thank you all so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. It really, really helps me out. 
and I look forward to seeing you all in my next haul. Bye!